Unstoppable Morgan's channel is not about making money. And she took her top off because it was hot. What's up, blind viewers? How's everybody doing? Okay, Unstoppable Morgan. She just did another live stream, and she addressed the previous live stream that she uh, took down. Well, let's just let's start. Let's talk about it. All right. First, I would like to say that Morgan confirmed what I had said. Uh, the video was not pulled by YouTube. Morgan set it to private. It is or will be available to her Patreons now. That leads me to what she said about her channel and her videos. Now, Morgan stated that her channel is about sharing. She doesn't care that people want to see her travel and make videos. She doesn't care about the money. Morgan wants to share her struggle in the hopes to help others. Now, she went on to say that showing her chest is not an attempt to gain subscribers and get money. Morgan says she took her top off because it's hot. He then went on to lobby for the rights of women to go topless the same as men can, you know? <laughs> okay, now, I can see it being hot outside, but Morgan is sitting in a hotel room. There's an air conditioner, uh, the unit, the air conditioning unit is in view. Now, if you've ever been in a hotel room, you can go over and you can crank them things up and you can get it pretty darn cold. Now, I feel there is no need to whip your top off because of the heat. If you're in a motel room or hotel room with an air conditioning unit. Now, Morgan then went on to say that she has been working out. Her new mantra is gym, YouTube, and dogs. Since she is working out, she's proud of her body. But so which one is it? Is it because you were hot? or because you're proud, well, in any case. Now, Morgan wanted to say that she feels that there was some body shaming going on. Now, I will just tell you my opinion. My opinion is that she's an attractive young lady. Now, there's nothing wrong with her body or the way she looks. There is no case to be made to body shame Morgan. I say be proud of your accomplishments. I do think that getting the girls out on YouTube gives some people that impression that, you know, it's all just for views and money. I personally think she's better than that. I think her humor, her wit, and her video shooting and editing style uh, is more than enough that she wouldn't have to, you know, get the tatas out. But that's her decision, I would imagine. Morgan addressed the issue that uh, some people think she needs help. She said she does have a counselor she talks to along with other people. She talks about AA also and how um, it's just not her thing. Morgan doesn't like the fact that they blame alcohol for everything. Now, she knows that alcohol is there, but there's a root problem and they're not addressing that. She also spoke about her PTSD or CPTSD as she referred to it, child post-traumatic stress disorder. So now let's talk about AA. A lot of you have been wanting me to go to AA and if I would just get help or if I would just get a therapist that I, and if I would just take the time to seek out help that I could get better. Um, I guess I haven't really talked to you guys about this, but I do have help and I have sought therapists and I do have a therapist that I'm talking to. And so AA, I did do AA and meetings. I did do one meeting a week for 18 months and I decided to ditch that. What I learned throughout that process is that there's a root to the issue. There's a root to it. There's a reason why you're doing what you're doing and it's alcohol is not, your problems aren't coming from alcohol. My problem, I'm sorry, my problems weren't branched from alcohol. Morgan also spoke about how people express their dislike and disappointment of her falling off the wagon. She said she is sorry, not sorry, but she wants to share. She said that she has a plan for the summer. She isn't traveling in the heat. She doesn't care that people want her to make travel videos. 
All right. Well, here, let me address that and give you my opinion once again. And my opinion is this. She doesn't have to make travel videos. Now, Morgan said the heat and the living conditions made it so that uh, she couldn't make an videos and upload. Now, I think she's talented. I think she makes good videos. The problem is she doesn't make videos often anymore. She only does a live stream after a spiral. So this leads uh, to the hot mess train rack image because that's what she puts up there. I personally would like to see her make videos and show her better side and talent for YouTube. Now she has the comfort of the room and the internet to do so. Uh, we all love the Fran videos and her Fran character, but I would like to see a few Morgan videos where she isn't just a hot mess and spiraling out of control. Now Morgan also talked about people saying she needs to stop making bad decisions and make change. She went on to say that it doesn't work that way. Well, I have to say that it works exactly that way. Just pretty much make better decisions. Now, at 35, you should be able to learn from your past mistakes, right? Uh, no one can change your life but you. It's all in your control. And you're old enough to know better. And you know you're about to make a bad decision. And you're about to do something that's not very smart. So just take that second, analyze, and make a better choice. Now, Morgan says she feels good, energized, and amped after she goes to the gym. Well, then what I would suggest is, when an urge of drown your sorrows feeling hits, go directly to the gym, not the bottle. Yes, you may slip now and again, and yes, people may criticize. But you put that out there. Now, it appears that you're really not trying because it's just, you know, spiral, spiral, spiral with nothing in between. So at least show that you're giving it a go. Post something besides the train wreck spiral. And then maybe it won't come across that it's just one failure after another. Another thing Morgan talked about was the vehicle situation. Now, she wants another vehicle but doesn't want to make an impulse buy. See? She can learn from her mistakes. She can learn and she can change. I still got hope. I'm holding hope. I'm hanging in there. <laughs> now, I do applaud that. Take your time and find that right fit. You don't have to jump into anything right now. If you can spend that crazy amount on uh, hotel rooms, apartments, and Airbnbs, you can hold out and find the right rig and a nice one. I know you got the money. You got the time, so just do it right. And you won't be sorry. Now, a few videos ago, Morgan came to that realization that she has everything she needs to not be miserable. She said that God put everything in front of her that she needs to be happy and healthy. Then, shortly after that, she slipped. People were concerned. People criticized. Some people even say it's all just an act, that she's fine. This is just all for the YouTube world and ratings and views and money. Now, Morgan says that the haters talk about her falling off the wagon. They say that they're tired of seeing just that. And I say, kind of, yeah, but make some videos. Show something else. You don't need to make travel videos. Make videos about you and what's going on. What's up? You don't have to be in another state and showing us things that everybody else is showing. The problem is that there's this big lapse in time in your post and then there's a meltdown or a slip live stream. That is all Morgan is showing. So that is all that people think there is. I think Morgan does good videos. Her filming and editing are on point. I would like to see more of that, not just a I'm a train wreck. And I get it. You want to share your experience and hopes that someone else will see it and say, I'm not alone. I get that. But if that's all your channel is going to be, well, then you're going to have to switch gears because there's a lot of people that want to see the kooky, crazy, quirky, upbeat Morgan. And yeah, then watch her spiral, but not just spiral, spiral, spiral just my opinion. Now, Morgan says that she can't just change. 
She doesn't like that people are disappointed and concerned about her drinking. I think it's sad that I expect better things for her, and I think she can do better and be happy more than she does. This is Blind Views, and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Loud. 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 Lo